Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Um, I posted a video last week and I had mentioned that I'm going to be doing celebrity readings. Um, so I did Prince William and Meghan Markle last time and I asked for people to post uh, who they would like to see next. Not one person has um, made a comment. However, I did a friend of mine, like I'm not into celebrity, okay? Uh, I don't really watch a lot of TV or know what's going on out there in the world as far as celebrity couples and so forth. And uh, one of my coworkers had said that um, an, a one hot topic would be Justin Bieber and Haley uh, Baldwin. All right, I don't know this woman. I don't know who they are. Like, I well, I know who Justin Bieber is. Uh, I really don't know the background or anything like that. So all I know is Justin Bieber was dating Selena Gomez. And apparently they dated on and off, on and off. So I can address those two first. I'll address Selena and Justin, and then I'll talk about the other two. So, okay. So I feel that if this is not over between Selena and Justin, I feel that these two will be together again. I feel like these two have a very strong past life connection. And it's like bouncing in and out, in and out, in and out of each other's lives. I feel like Selena gets fed up with him. Whatever the issue was between them, I just get someone who's like, you know what, I'm fucking done. I'm fed up with you. I'm not doing this again. And then he will go off and do his own thing and she will do her own thing. And then he's like, she starts to miss him. And he's like, baby, 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 take me kind of take me back. But you know what, I feel she is the um, more mature between the two. Uh, it's just like, I feel like she's emotionally older she is more mature. It's like she has to teach him everything, I feel like, when it comes to um, maybe relationships, maybe when it comes to life. Uh, he loves her. I really feel that he does love Selena. And I feel that when the time is right, they'll get back together again. Because I feel like they have to learn something from each other. I feel she's always teaching him something. And... Um, She's okay without him, but she's better with him. When she's with him, I feel that she really does feel somewhat um, kind of complete. You know, uh, he just even completes her more, right? But I feel like, he, like I feel like he does idiot, Id, idiotic things. And she just kind of, and I don't know who breaks up with who. All I know is that my coworker said that they've been on and off for nine years. So I feel like she has enough of him and she's like, go on, little boy. Just go. I've had enough of you. And then when he comes back, he's a little bit more mature. He's a little bit more older. And then they get back together again. And then it, I don't know how long they go out for. And then she's like, I've had enough. I'm done again. I'm done with you. I just get this. I'm done with you. You know, and it's almost like kind of like they take a bit of a break. But I feel that it's not like a break for good and forever. It's always like back to the same thing again. But every time he comes back, there's a little more maturity. There's a little more learning. It's just like they're on different levels when it comes to maturity and different levels when it comes to wisdom. And I feel like he comes back for more lessons from her. As soon as she teaches him something else, then he kind of gets it. Then, I, I don't know. I just get this guy just does stupid things. <laughs> and she's not a stupid girl. She's not immature. She, she, she demands, I feel like she demands respect and she demands to be treated a certain way. And when he starts to not do that, there's nothing holding her back. I feel like she's strong enough where she's like, I'm like, again, I go back to this. I'm done with you. I'm not doing this. I'm too smart for this. So, but yet she's, he's, he's endearing. Like, you know, there's, she's, and then when she takes him back, she sees these differences. So I feel that this will go on for a little bit while longer before they stay together for good. So this girl that he's dating, this um, Haley Baldwin, all right, I feel she is more airy. And by that, I mean, I don't want to say like a, a, a airhead. I just don't feel she has the substance or the, um, I don't want to say personality or like, it's more like she doesn't have as much substance as Selena does. She's more of a good time girl. You know how they say there is, um, uh, he's not a good time, he's, a, he's not a long time, he's a good time. Or she's not a long time, she's a good time. I don't think she's a long time. I think she's a good time. And I feel she puts up with Justin's shenanigans a little bit. 
uh, more easy. And she plays along with it. I think she's more on his level when it comes to maturity and when it comes to um, uh, just just I, like when I think about those two, I think they're like partners in crime. Like they will go off and they'll do stupid things together. And um, Haley really doesn't care about whether she gets treated with respect or not. She doesn't demand respect. She doesn't demand um, uh, a certain level of um, the relationship to be. It's just what it is. Whatever it is, it is. I think she goes with the flow. If he wants to go out and get drunk and have a good time and do whatever he does, she goes along with it. She doesn't care. And I don't feel like she's needy. It's just she's not wanting someone that is... Um, I don't feel like she wants something serious right now. So she's just in it for a good time. That is the vibe that I get. I don't get a woman that's completely madly in love with this man. I don't feel like she's a connection. Like I almost, it's like, you know, when um, he's trying to fill the void, it's almost like he goes through his phone, like little black book or whatever you want to call it and just go, oh yeah, there's Haley. Yeah, I might give her a call, see what she's up to. And they just kind of like hang out, date, for however long it suits him or however long he, then when things starts to kind of, you know, um, yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, with the two of them, I just get this, this, um, just not seriousness. They're both, I don't know. Someone said she's a model and I know there's a lot of models out there. Pretty darn smart. They're, they're business savvy. No, they know what they're doing. I'm not saying she's not business savvy or anything like that because I'm not reading her on her career. All I know when it comes to Justin, she really doesn't care. She doesn't care maybe how he treats her. If he wants to act like a little boy, she will play along with it and act like a little girl. And they'll be silly and stupid and immature and irresponsible together. So she doesn't demand anything from him or Selena demanded a lot. She wanted, um, you know, respect. And she wanted uh, him to be the man that she's looking for. And this Haley doesn't really care for that. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She gets, she gets what she gets with Justin. So, and, but she doesn't demand anything from him either. So I feel like this is a very surface level relationship. I don't think it's going to, going to last very long. Like, it, I mean, it might last, but as the time is going on, um, I feel that she doesn't, like, again, she doesn't demand anything from him. There is no, there, the connection is not there like it is with Selena and um, Justin. Okay, so that is what I get between those two. I'll pull cards, like, I'll let cards fall out. Um, on first, I'll just say what we need to, I'll ask what we need to know about Selena and Justin. What are the messages regarding Selena and Justin? the messages regarding Selena and Justin. I wait for one card to fall out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Um, what is the messages regarding Selena and Justin? Messages regarding Selena and Justin. Selena will take him back. It's just a matter of time and a matter of timing. So this other girl, he's just filling the void. I don't think they're out of each other's lives forever, him and Selena. I feel that they're going to they're gonna be together again. I don't know if his celebrity is too much because I know that, um, uh, I mean, they're both popular, right? They're both um, singers and so forth. But I think, I think what he brings into the relationship with Selena um, is too much for her at times. I don't know if it's all his friends and the whole scene of it, but she's more down to earth and grounded where um, Haley isn't. Haley... Again, I'm not saying she's a stupid girl, but she just doesn't demand things like Selena does. Message regarding Selena and Justin. Okay. 
All right, I don't know what Justin's birthday is, so I'm going to check that out right now. Justin Bieber birthday, March 1st, 1994. So he's 24 years old, so March 1st, so he would be, is he, Aquar is he Aquarius? March 1st, Zodiac. Oh, Pisces. Okay, so he's a Pisces. All right, so he gets hurt very easily. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio are all water signs, and um, all three of them, if a Cancer gets hurt, they go into their shell, and they stay there till they're ready to come out. Scorpios will just sting you, and you know when you've pissed them off, and Pisces will just go down to the bottom of the ocean and stay there until they um, are ready to come back up again. So he's a Pisces. Um, he's very sensitive. He's very sensitive, and I think he's very sensitive to uh, Selena and um, her uh, her demands. You know, I don't. She might come across as a little bit more uh, tough for him. All right. Okay, so here we have the King of Wands, and this typically represents a Scorpio, Cancer, sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo man. This is not him, but this guy is an alpha male. He's a leader. He's a charmer. He's got courage. This could be, um, there's the passion. There's the red, which represents passion. There could be, there's a lot of passion here between the two of them. Okay. All right. So next we have um, the chariot. And the chariot is about action and change. And there's, I believe, between them, there's always change going on. And you know how I said earlier that um, uh, uh, things change, they get back together, she waits for that change, she sees that change, and then there's action. So I feel she's the one in the, the there's the chariot, and I feel she's the one who is constantly in charge here. She's the one who is uh, the one who is always in charge. All right. Right now, there's really nothing going on. Here's the five of pentacles. Okay, the five of, yeah, five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is about um, uh, emotionally being left out in the cold. Okay, so I feel like right now emotionally there's nothing going on between the two of them. And a lot of times in the other deck, it's showing two people walking by a church where there's help there. They can walk in and get help, but they just keep on walking. They're kind of left out in the cold. I feel these two right now, there's no growth right? No growth in the relationship. They're apart. There's nothing going on. You can see here um, it's dead in the in the winter time. There's no leaves. There's no grass. There's no nothing. But you see that little, that little um, bud there? There's still potential for this to grow. I feel that. I feel, I feel it is not over between him and Selena Gomez. Okay. All right. So now I will ask about um, Haley and Justin. Okay. What are the messages between Haley and Justin? I'm going to give this a good shuffle. And please, somebody post a comment telling me who they would like me to read again. Okay. Haley and Justin. Haley and Justin. What are the messages regarding Haley and Justin? Okay, now we have the Six of Swords. 
Okay, so the Six of Swords is about, it's about a necessary transition. It's about relocating, perhaps moving, travel. I don't know if these two travel together. I don't know if um, they have to travel to see each other. I don't know if they live in the same city or not. You can see this person is transitioning, perhaps moving on. Maybe one of them will move on. Um, however, they've taken the swords that they have and take them with them. So whatever problems that they're having, they're taking them with them. So it's not like they're moving away from... Um, uh, whatever problems they had it's like maybe if Selena for example is one of these swords like he's moving forward but taking him, her with him okay so this really is just about like transitions and changes um but he hasn't left her behind I feel all right so then we have the eight of swords so this is about self-imposed restrictions it's isolation it's imprisonment um I feel that um, even like with Justin, with uh, him and Haley, I feel that um, there's restrictions here. All right. She's refusing to take the blindfold off. And like you can see her arms are bound, but she can easily unbind them and walk through the water. Like she's not trapped, but she feels trapped by the situation. So... I don't know if he's feeling trapped by something or they are, but I feel like they're not gonna they're not going to deal with whatever's going on because th this, there's no emotions here. I don't feel there's it's very surface between the two of them because they won't go in the water. This woman will not step forward because these swords are not trapping her in there. She can easily walk out of this situation. All right, but will not go into the water of emotions to get out of it. So I feel like these two are not, they're kind of trapped where they are, but they're not going to, there's nothing emotional going on between the two of them either. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I don't know who this is. I can see if, um, let's just see Haley Baldwin's, Baldwin's birthday. Haley Baldwin birthday. November 22nd. So she is... On the cusp of Scorpio and Cancer. Let's see who Haley, who uh, Selena Gomez zodiac sign. July twenty second. Cancer. So she's a Cancer woman here. Okay, so she's a Cancer. Selena is a Sagittarius, I believe. Um, let's just double check that because she's right on the cusp. Haley Baldwin Zodiac sign. I'm November 23rd. I'm a Sagittarius. So she is Sun Signs a Sagittarius. So she's a Sagittarius. She's sparky. So let's just see what the message of this woman is. So this is about um the Queen of Cup the Queen of Pentacles is usually a resourceful person. So um I think the message between uh Justin and Haley is that that they are resourceful when it comes to um, uh, the relationship. You know, I don't know if they use many resources, but I think that I don't want to say they use each other. It's just they're very they're very resourceful. They are very clever um, when it comes to just kind of like getting along and knowing what it takes to just be in the relationship without having to. Um, uh, put much real effort into it. I feel like they both know that they're really this really isn't going to work, but it's just I don't want to say something to do, but it's just they're they're they just they're just both both kind of it's it's almost like they kind of know without speaking where this is going, which is probably nowhere. I don't feel like that relationship is going much. So, all right. That is the reading on I guess I could just say the three of the because I read the two of like uh, Justin and Selena and then Justin and Haley. I do feel that that Selena and Justin will get back together again.
Okay. All right. Please leave a comment on who you would like me to um, read next for a celebrity couple. All right. I hope you enjoy this. Um, uh, these spontaneous readings from whenever I post them. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, commenting and really just, you know, watching me, watching my videos. I enjoy putting them out and I enjoy the monthlies, putting the dailies out in the monthlies. All right. Thanks again. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.